That's weird. Okay. This is something worth showing. What's up, everybody? It's your boy. Blow Nose. And today, we're shooting another video for the regular reasons. I got a few pickups I wanted to unbox and just, you know, put on the channel. But I also wanted to, you know, shoot another video because I made a couple adjustments, a couple improvements to see if I can continue to improve the quality of these types of videos. As you can see right here, I got a little lapel, lavalier, whatever you want to call it, microphone. So hopefully this sounds a little bit better than before. And I also have a, another light shining on me from that direction here. So hopefully the lighting has improved a little bit and I've also been messing with some settings on the camera itself. We'll see how this turns out. So in my last video, I kind of shamed Nike in the sneakers app. And then a couple days later on the sneakers app, I just so happened to win the draw, you know, hit on a shoe. And then the following week, it happened again. So the only conclusion I can draw from any of that was you gotta neg the, the companies and their apps. So since then, I was given price to the Adidas confirmed app. I haven't gotten anything from them. So right now I wanna take this opportunity to tell you Adidas, do better you used to be better. But also, Nike sneakers, you were better for a moment, but then ever since then, maybe four or five, six drops since the last time I was able to win a draw on your app, haven't gotten anything. There was one day, there was like 15, 16 dunks that restocked on the app, didn't get one of them. That was probably the biggest day of just taking straight L's whole time, man. It was a little disheartening, I'm not gonna lie to you. It um, felt, felt a little defeated. But anyway, that's not exactly what this video is about. I just, wanted, I just wanted to address that for a second. What I wanna do is show some of the stuff I was able to pick up, a couple from the Sneakers app and then a couple from other stores, other websites. So let's get into it. First shoe. You're going to be able to tell right away what this is just based on the box. Well, most of you are, whoever watches this channel. The four people that watch this channel. I think you know what that box is. A little peek of the label, you know what it is. All right, so first shoe, it is the Air Jordan 5, Toro, Bravo, Raging Bull, whatever you want to call it. A red five for those that don't know about it look up another video because there's plenty of them because this is from like march now early april and it's already may <laughs> sorry yeah hey come to my channel and watch my video for me to tell you to go to another channel to watch their video on this shoe <laughs> The thing about it is I didn't really need this one per se, but I'm not mad that I got it. The reason I say that is because I did a pre-order for these, like I wanna say November, possibly January. No, I wanna say it was last year. Cause I, yeah, definitely like late last year because I knew I needed to have these. So that pre-order pair has yet to ship. Usually a pre-order pair arrives five weeks after the release day. So we're getting pretty close to it. So I expect it very soon, but this is the Nike sneakers pair. What am I gonna do with this shoe? You know, I, I always like to talk about what, I, what, I, what my plans are for this shoe. I'm probably gonna keep them and wear them um, because like I said, I've wanted them for so long, but now that I'm gonna have two pairs, not sure which one is gonna be the pair that I'm going to wear until that other one shows up. But anyway, Jordan 5, Toro, Bravo, Raging Bull, whatever you wanna call it, beautiful shoe and glad to have it. So this next one, next shoe is one that I got off of, also off of the Sneakers app, the following weekend after the Toro Bravos. It was a sneakers draw win, very rare. So it was cool winning back to back. But like I said, I haven't won since then. So Nike, please help me out. There's some stuff I need. <laughs> Hopefully by the time this video, I put out this video, maybe it'll be in time for something I really want because I missed, I missed some other stuff that came out last week that I really wanted, namely the Travis Scott sixes. Kind of a bummer that I didn't get them, but what can you do? So anyway, I know what this is. Label. 
Boom. Let's open it up. Drop the lid. Be careful with that. So here it is. It is the Jordan 1 Hyper Royal. Yeah, let's get some, I guess we can do a little B-roll type thing. Not typically a color of the Jordan 1 that I uh, usually gravitate towards or purchase. You know, I figured I, it would be worth a shot to just check them out in person, but I think this will be a good shoe to have to possibly trade towards something else or, you know, get some money back and resale. I'm not like a huge reseller, but, or, you know, buy, sell, trade type collector, I guess you know what I'm gonna call myself. It's not that I dislike them, it's just I don't really think I'm gonna really uh, find an occasion to wear these or find a reason to wear these or hang on to them. I got a lot of Jordan ones that I haven't worn, so this isn't really high on my list of ones that I really want to put on. It's not bad. So the materials on here are really good. So if they keep doing stuff like this in other colorways, maybe I'll hang on to those. But this one specifically, yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna keep this one. We'll see how long I hold on to this one or if I magically get the urge to put it on. <laughs> we'll see, we'll, we'll see about that one. Not bad, Sneakers W. Love to see it, but I don't necessarily need it. So that concludes the portion of the video where I give praise to Nike and the sneakers app. Because I was able to uh, acquire a couple shoes, it, that's, that's where it ends. Nike, do better. Adidas, I'm looking at you too. Do better as well. It's been a minute since you gave me anything. Gave me anything. It's been a minute since you allowed me to purchase a shoe from your application via drawing. There we go. This is gonna be an unboxing because I have yet to open this box or even take a peek at this shoe. I know what it is because I bought it. Duh. It is uh, from a store out here called Likelihood and I won a raffle for it. So that's pretty cool. All right, let me just just do it this way. Check me out. Box tag. That's weird. Okay. This is something worth showing. So <laughs> this is the first time I've ever had this. The shoe arrived. <laughs> it's kind of sitting, one sitting on top of the other one. So that's weird. Never had that happen before. Yeah, this is the Jordan 4 UNC, North Carolina. Yeah, somebody definitely opened my box and took a peek. Maybe they shot the shoe for their website. I don't know what they did. That was a first for me. Anyway, so yeah, here it, here it is. Based on the player edition, PE, they gave to a bunch of players from the school. The real one, I guess, or the the one for the school would have like, pretty sure would have their logo, North Carolina logo here or on the back, probably probably right here. Originally when I saw them, I wasn't, I wasn't really drawn towards them. I don't have a ton of like, you know, mostly blue Jordans, but you know, the North Carolina blue. Who didn't grow up just like being a fan of the school because you know, Michael Jordan went there. Seeing a person now, initial reaction, the suede on here, or new buck, I, I'm not quite sure which one it is. Perhaps it's both. Quality looks pretty good. It reminds me of the Travis Scott Cactus Jack Jordan 4s. Obviously much prefer those, but you know, it's, this ain't too bad. I feel like the suede feels a bit like softer or more buttery than the Toro Bravos or the, than the Raging Bull 5s. So it's kind of cool. I don't know, we'll have to see if I hang on to this one. Trying to think of when I would wear this or why I would wear this, and I don't really know, but it's kind of cool to have in the collection. They're pretty cool. I think they're. Yeah, that's just how I feel. Mm. It's kind of kind of what it is. So yeah, Jordan Four, North Carolina. Kind of a cool W. Let me box them up the way I think they were supposed to be boxed up. 
This is probably gonna be the purchase for me of 2021, like the craziest purchase. And in a second, you'll see why. Let me get this open real quick. All right, this right here is the Amamanir slide bars. Holy crap, look at this. Look at this box. For me, this is gonna be the craziest purchase of the year. Unless I get something, one of those Travis Scotts from, you know, the Fragment Travis one or whatever. This is probably gonna be it as the craziest purchase. I got these off of the Amamanir website. There were chances to buy them. Like there was a, there was a raffle and there were in-store releases and obviously there's no Amamanir store here in Seattle, but this one was on release day on their website. It's a manual purchase, manual cop, manual boys in the building, and we did it, we did it. I wish I filmed my reaction when I was able to get it. It felt unreal. It's been a long time since I felt that way about purchasing a shoe. Yeah, I went crazy. First things first, um, I wanna slip off this little cool plastic slip cover. This is the Amam like logo, just kind of in an all over print. Very Jordan 11-esque sort of plastic cover for a shoe box. That's what, that's what it reminds me of. Here's top of the box. So on usually on a Jordan 4, it's like landscape, but this time it's on the Air Jordan flight is in like portrait mode. It's actually a women's shoe. So I got it in, let's see if I can get that to focus. So I got a 12 and a half, which is a 12 and a half women's, which is an 11 men's. Let's crack it open. Being very gentle because I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> Crazy shoe, man. This is why we do it, man. Just this feeling right here, being able to get something like this, something you saw initially and you really wanted, and just that feeling when you actually get it. This is why. This is why I do it. Here it is. Jordan Three. I'm on Manier. Let me give you a little 360 view. Yeah, quality on here, it's crazy. It smells different than other, other Jordans. I don't know what it is, maybe it's, the, maybe it's the leather. Yeah, leather quality. I don't know if it's genuine leather, but the leather quality is better than most Jordan 3s or just Jordans in general that I own. Oh, check it out on the tongue. It's got their logo. The other one has a Jumpman on it. And there's also some messaging on the back tab here. I don't want to flip it down, you know, because I'm sensitive, man. I don't want to, I don't like, folding stuff on my Jordans. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, the details are crazy on here. Like the edges of the leather look aged and like yellowed. And then all the panels that would have like elephant prints just have like a gray suede. And then on the midsole, you know, they painted that white. And then on this part of the midsole, they made it like an off-white or like a cream. Same with the back, back tab. They did it in like an off-white. So some of the details on here are supposed to give it that aged look. The quilted, I guess it feels like satin liner on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. Very nice, very nice touches to this. Even if this wasn't a collaboration with Amam and Ear, I think this would be a dope shoe. Really cool like women's release, but you know, they did extended sizes. So they pretty much made it unisex. Am I gonna wear them? Oh man, I gotta really think about it. Oh, I mean, I can't stop staring at it. This is a this is a cool shoe. Man. Yeah, what would it be like to wear these around? Would anyone notice? Would anyone care? Probably not, but you know, all the real heads would know. That pretty much wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.